I am back with another video and this is going to be a car boot sale haul video. If you watched my stories a few weeks ago you will know that I did go to the car boot sale and I did manage to pick some things up this time. Car boot sales around me are so kind of hit and miss and um, sometimes I go and I get things and then other times I go and there's just absolutely nothing there. Um, however I did pick a few things up lately so I have everything at the side of me here so it's not a lot and most of it is christmas stuff um like as in christmas decorations and things but i'm gonna go through and show you what i got anyway i think i'll just start with the non-christmas stuff first so i picked up these two books now i have read i've already read this one i read this one a good few years ago when i was probably about 18 or 19 um and it literally broke my heart but there's obviously another two after this so i picked these two up i don't know where my original copy of this went i just couldn't find it so i bought this and this and i do have the third book already um these were 10 pence each so i thought right i'm gonna get them i want to try and get back into reading again it's just so hard at the moment to find time to do things with everything else going on in daily life and obviously i have children and i have work and oh, it's just but i just want to kind of like on the winter nights i just want to kind of get into a routine of going to bed reading a few pages of a book and i thought these were going to be good ones to start with so yes i picked those up and they were 10 pence each so can't go wrong with that then the next two items that i have that um are not christmas related are these two cute plant pots these are absolutely stunning. I just seen these on the floor when I was walking by and I literally went straight over. I really want to introduce more kind of plants into my home and things in with my deco and everything. Um, I'm probably just going to go down the fake plant route because I cannot keep plants for the life of me. But yeah, I picked up both of these and I got both of these for 50 pence. So two of them for 50 pence, like 25 pence each. But just look at the pattern on that. They, they look really, really good quality. I can't see where they're from. Obviously, the original stick has been took off the bottom. But they look absolutely fabulous so love that one and then this one's got a little bit of a different pattern on i'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it on the camera but again super duper cute so both of those for 50 pence i thought was an absolute bargain so that is those and then we are moving on to christmas stuff so everything else that i'm going to show you is christmas deco um yeah so let's just dive in so first thing that i want to show you is this christmas tree skirt um it's gorgeous kind of red material with green and red and gold stars on um and it's just obviously like a christmas tree skirt my theme this year is going to be red and green um i really really want to do a grinch christmas tree i'm not sure how well that will turn out but i have bought things for it so we'll see how we get on with that so i paid one pound for that which again i thought was great right and then the next things that I'm going to show you, <laughs> let me just slide this in. I have a huge box here and I got everything that I'm going to show you next. Like literally every single piece that I'm going to show you from now for one pound. There was this stall and I always look for little Christmassy bits when I'm out and about. And I've seen a couple of bits and then this woman actually said to me, I'll give you two carrier bags so you can fill two carrier bags and take them for a pound i was like oh my god so it was so funny she had loads of boxes and things so i was looking in boxes and i was just looking for like all christmasy bits um, and in the end the woman actually came over and she was like waking through the boxes and finding things for us and every time she found something that was Christmassy she would like throw it at us and say go and put it in your bag put it in your bag so i ended up with two bags full of christmas stuff for one pound how insane is that so yes um let's just excuse me missus get out of the way <laughs> right so let's get started so first thing that we have here is this cute little like wreath i'm just going to move those to the side so you can kind of see better and um, this is just super cute and um, my idea to buy wreaths was um I was looking for the ones that have the metal rings on the back because I was just going to kind of take some apart and then try to do my own. But I actually really like this one. It's super cute. It's got like hollies and berries, some little acorns, pine cones and like a little spray of snow. I thought that was super cute. So I definitely will use that. So that's that one. I got a couple of wreaths. Actually, actually I got three wreaths. Oh, I think I might have got two the same. Yeah, I did. So that's just another one 
the same as the one that I have just showed you. They are super cute and I'm sure I'll find a use for them. Then I got another one. This is actually really cute too. Um, again, going with the red theme that I want to go for this year, like the candy canes, the red bows and things. And this one actually lights up, which I was not. It even came with the batteries in as well. So let me see. Can you guys see the little red lights on it? It's so cute. So I think I might hang that one on my door if it will fit. I'm trying to show you guys so you get like a good picture of it. Can you see that? Yeah. So that is what it looks like. And I was absolutely over the moon when I brought it home and found out that it lit up. So absolutely amazing. So I love that. Then somehow <laughs> I managed to get a Halloween witch little hanging decoration in with it as well. <laughs> um, I'll probably give it to one of the boys to pop in their bedroom or something. They like to kind of decorate their bedroom. Um, let's have a look and then the next thing that I got again is like a reindeer but it has this on like so you're right how many days it is until Christmas it's got a little parcel hanging off its hand so again I thought that that was super cute as well Um, again I'll probably give that to one of the boys or something or maybe it's just hang it on the landing and they can fill it in each day to see how many days it is until Christmas because we all know it's not that long and I mean Christmas is going to be so strange this year with everything that's going on in the world but I guess we've just got to make it work haven't we um next this thing just ended up in here I don't think I'm going to use this but it's just one of those um like window stickers you just stick them to your window and it's just obviously Santa with a Christmas tree maybe it's the boys will use it in their room so that was in there anyway like I say the woman was just literally passing me anything Christmas related so I ended up with all sorts um let's have a look what else we got I also got this cute little um like Christmassy style tea light holder so you pop your little tea light in the back there and it's just cute it's like a mantelpiece with a fire and it's got the Christmas stock on with a Christmas candle and I just thought it was nice so I picked it up <laughs> Um, also managed to pick up a couple of stockings um, and again these are all kind of like in the red and green theme because I have like tons and tons of Christmas decorations already Um, but last year my theme was kind of like blush pink silver and um, like soft blues Um, but this year I am totally switching it up so I've gone for kind of reds and greens so I got this little stocking which is super duper cute and then this one as well Santa with ho 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 on so I thought they were super duper cute then what else do we have in here oh, we've got this cute little um little doggy like little Christmas dog with snowflakes and things on I think my youngest one has popped his name on this one already he wants this in his room because it says it looks like one of our dogs so that's super cute as well then I actually got one of like these is this supposed to be like a snowman or something with the scarf and the woolly jumper and the little mittens and things on and then it has these kind of stretchy leg things um I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use this um but obviously like I say the woman was just literally giving me everything Christmas related so I've ended up with bits that I might not necessarily use but obviously I will pass them on to people so they won't go to waste what else do we have? Let me see. Um, just kind of looking in the boxes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this, I managed to pick up this tiny little thing as well. And it is just a little, what are these called? Are these nutcrackers? Or oh, I think it's a nutcracker, like a little soldier type thing. And I just thought that was cute. I know he's got blue pants on, but it's red. So I'm sure that will hang on the tree nicely as well then i got like another big kind of teddy thing and um, let me have a look i'm just trying to pop it right there it's a bit skew with from being in the box i think this is supposed to be like a snowman angel thing god i need to move things out of the way because you'll literally you just cannot see and um, let me move some of those so this is what this one looks like so it's a snowman and one of his legs has snapped here but I can just get in and glue that um, and then this <laughs> side his foot actually came off but I do have the foot so again that is something that I'm going to glue on and I probably will put this out this year because 
it is um like red and white themed so red white and green and i think it's supposed to be an angel because those look like angel wings on the back but he's got like a big um what is this called is it like a peppermint candy or something he's got the snowflake he's got a little santa sack with some presents and candy canes and stuff in i thought that was really really cute and i will use that because that is kind of like the colors that i'm going for and obviously i'll just incorporate that with green as well so again that came with it then just this bow ended up in there as well um i probably won't use that it's got a little mark on there but like i say, the woman was just throwing everything in then <laughs> i actually got some multicolored christmas lights as well and um, i do have the adapter thing for it and to be honest when i seen these i thought oh god these are not going to work anyway so but I brought them home and my oldest son tried them and they work so literally i got everything all of these christmas bits for one pound like you literally cannot go wrong so they work um my son's probably gonna my oldest one's probably gonna have them in his bedroom because these are all multicolored and they're not what i want from my christmas tree so he will probably make good use of those because he does like to have a few decorations around in his bedroom and then the last thing that i got was this it came boxed and it's like a tea light holder but like a christmasy style one now it is broken a little bit i will show you because it is definitely fixable and it is cute so i will use this as well i will definitely get my use out of this and um, let me just pull it out of its packaging come on it actually even comes with the flameless candle bit so that is what it looks like can you guys see that so it has like a reindeer pattern on and then it's got some stars snowflakes i thought that was really cute and it comes with um like a, a flameless candle so you don't necessarily you can put a real candle in but you don't necessarily need to now where it's broke is this back part here um obviously this has just come off so what I would need to do is just kind of hot glue that back onto there and then I would have the perfect tea light holder so yep so that is that I thought that was super cute as well um yeah so that is yes I think that is everything that I got from the boot sale um I am gonna try and go to the car boot sale again this Sunday I don't know whether I'll get anything. I don't even know whether it will be on because obviously if it's raining, they don't go ahead. So it's always kind of hit and miss. But I have gotten back into going to car boot sales and things lately. Like I went through a phase where I just could not be bothered with them anymore. But I'm really enjoying going and it gets me out the house and things like that. So yeah, that is my car boot sale haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, honestly guys if you've never been to a car boot sale I highly highly suggest you. you can pick up some amazing things for literally next to nothing um, and you'll always find a bargain so yes that was it for this video and I will see you all in my next video if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can and I do have more videos on the way so keep an eye out so thanks for watching everyone bye